So, I had been thinking about this for quite some time, and I wanted to ask us a very important question. Why do we need dating coaches? See, I'm thinking about this. I, I, I mean, I've been thinking about this for actually a couple of years now. I've asked myself this question. Um, but I, I saw a an ad of some woman selling some course. And I was thinking about, I, I remember one time I, I pirated the, the, the girlfriend activation system. Um, I'm sure you guys, maybe some people might remember that, that whole thing. Um, but then I also, I, I saw, um, I, I've been getting some recommendations for the, the, the Fresh and Fit podcast. Um, I followed Donovan Sharp briefly for a while um, before I finally decided to not do that anymore. Um... You know, there's a lot of like like dating res like resources like you know out on the internet, and I started thinking about this one for a little bit for a moment, and I and I asked myself, why do we need dating coaches? All right, so what what really even is a dating coach? That's a good question. What even is that? What even what do we even classify a dating coach? A, a dating guru. Ass. Well, I would say a dating coach is mostly, mostly dudes, and sometimes women, who are mostly trying to give, mostly young men, tips on how to have sex with women, how to make women like you, um, how to date them, I guess you could say. Uh, just basically how to win their approval, because mostly what it is. You know, pickup artistry and, and, and dating coaches, like pickup artists, they kind of all are in the same umbrella, you know, it's like, there. it's like, it's like a panther to a jaguar kind of thing, you know, it's like, it's like a different, like, you know, one's black and one's yellow and, and black, but, you know, and, you know, it's still, still panther, right, still jaguar, right, uh, the panthers are jaguars, but I digress, um, the point is, they're all kind of mostly the same, the, the basic idea is to give young men advice on on how to date women. So a lot of that advice mostly boils down to uh, be physically attractive, uh, exercise, be fit, to be aesthetically pleasing, uh, try to obtain lots of money, and try to obtain status. And then after you obtain those things, then you kind of go talk to drunk women at bars and then display such status so you can have sex with them. That's kind of basically, that's just, that's, I just boil it down. Now, there's like a lot of psychological nonsense that comes with game or comes with dating. And there's like a lot to it, like a lot. More than I think realistically should be the case. And that's kind of what this video is here to explain. Yeah, I got you. You guys thought I was here to explain why we need dating coaches. Quite the opposite. So, where should we begin in this dissection? Let's talk about, again, uh, why there is a demand for all of this content to begin with. And that is because, if I understand the current problem that we're all facing, young men are dealing with, is trying to find meaningful relationships with women. And if not meaningful relationships with women, just getting our penises inside of their, their wops, you know? Um, and so the demand that the dating coaches are trying to fill in is helping young men find some ability or teach them the tools that they need in order to be able to just have sexual relations with women. Now, the biggest issue that I kind of always have with dating coaches is, well, there's lots. In fact, there's so much I could probably make my own video on specifically why I have a lot of disdain for dating coaches. But I think one of the bigger aspects of it all, I think if I can just kind of boil it down to one point, it's the fact that they more reinforce the state of affairs rather than they like create an actual honest solution to the issue because the issue being mostly when it comes down to it is that the vast majority of women are not attracted to the vast majority of males that's just the giant that's just kind of when it comes to the western society the biggest problem is if we just boil it down to it all is most women don't want most men most women only want a smaller pool or a small pool of males um and if a lot of women end up with dudes that aren't in that higher pool of dudes or high-valued males, as some would say, then a lot of these women feel like settling. And then there's lots of cheating and there's lots of disdain and aggravation and the relationships break down. And ultimately, who suffers? 
well that young male suffers because he was settled for which by the way is his rather arrogant disposition to have but i'll save that one for another time but the young male is is hurt obviously and then their children if they had any also now have to suffer growing up without their father or their mother because their mom was i'm gonna be honest a little a little selfish now of course it's not only women who do this it's just primarily the bigger issue is women are the ones who find themselves primarily not satisfied with the males that they're dating of course are there some dudes that cheat on women yeah of course are there some dudes that abuse women yeah of course are there some dudes that are just otherwise honestly probably sh are have such poor character that they really should be in relationships and they really should have the opportunity to have children yeah of course however generally dating coaches demand that they're trying to fix is that there is a large pool of men who cannot consistently and if not consistently can't find a relationship to find themselves into they can't consistently find women to date or talk to or have some type of relationship with or they can't find anyone at all to be steady with as, as the kids used to say go steady <laughs> um but no but seriously like to just be consistent with one partner that's still difficult for a lot of young men so dating coaches grand scale or grand point actually which is another issue i have with them is it even really for the production of long lasting relationships um there's this one guy that comes to mind that does make this attempt but he mostly panders to women not Derek jackson um another guy i'm pretty sure i can like find his name somewhere if i try hard enough but he's the only one and even then again he's, he's still more is for women than he is for males um so I'll, i don't really think he counts the dating coach but i guess some women need dating coaches too um but the point being is mostly with dating coaches is the encouragement is not one of finding a good woman to be with but finding lots of women to be with and have lots of sex with them or have sex with one of, okay like you either have lots of sex with that one woman and then rotate it out for another or you like just have one night stands and then just keep finding new women to date or have sex with rather um something of that caliber you know nothing really again for like any higher deeper meaning or truth any higher emotional value to women it is kind of just using women as masturbatory aids because it's, it's it's kind of ultimately what it really is you know uh, especially if like you're going to a bar and finding drunk women you know you're not really trying to make a family with this with this drunk girl you know you, you really are just trying to just you know bang her out and then probably not talk to her anymore you know because you probably never really liked her, or never really considered the uh, the ramifications of your actions. Long and short of it is, dating coaching or dating coaches aren't really in the business of trying to create families or like matchmaking or anything like that. I'm uh, not matchmaking at all because that would require a willing participant, but more so trying to give young men psychological tools they use to gain women, to to put women into a state of mind that makes it easier for these dudes to date them or have sex with them. Now, I mean, without any like real critical analysis of like what the dating coaches is psychological i guess manipulation or tools are the long and short of the issue kind of remains and there's a lot okay like there's just like really a lot <laughs> i think kind of issue number one again is this doesn't make anything better in fact if the ultimate goal of a lot of dating coaches is to encourage men to become high valued and high valued meaning that you are physically fit you have lots of money and lots of status that isn't really something that could be feasibly obtained by the vast majority of males um to put it quite frankly um to become like a high earning dude you have to work a lot harder than other people to like distinguish yourself and the problem being is any of the type of like careers that have like the status like being a lawyer or a doctor or even like being a soundcloud rapper i'm, I'm joking but like even like I say like being an entertainer of sorts like like an athlete or or, or being I guess rather or, or actor or whatever or rather um is 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 not something that the general population of dudes can do if the benchmark for like dating women is getting to that high status caliber then the problem is that you've just created a standard that feasibly the vast majority of men cannot functionally do and that functional thing is just having large pools of resources or money because there's just not enough money just as a medium for a lot of these dudes to obtain and then the problem still is that let's say the vast majority of dudes do become high valued well all that would really do is just shift the definition of being high valued meaning that now if 
having six figures is what makes you high value, dude. Well, now it's got to be five hundred thousand dollars instead of just one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. You know, the, the the narrow the margin just keep comes more and more narrow as women continue to funnel up so they can get their things. So. And the, the widespread encouragement of this is just not something that is feasible because the resources aren't there. And then the effort and time and dedication it takes to even get there is just something a lot of men may not even have the skills, time, or patience to do. Um, also, one of the bigger issues, which is more of a macro problem for, for society, is that the more you denigrate the working class people that basically hold society on their shoulders, the less motivation these people have in order to continue their job because there's not enough notoriety and there's no motivation as in a family and children to take care of, the less these people are going to want to do it. And the less people are going to want to run society, society is going to come to an eventual collapse. Now, again, that's a little more macro and that might be a little bit more, more stuck in my head and thinking too hard about things but it is kind of like a potential problem that could occur um, if you have lots of men who are discouraged by this type of like mindset that they have to struggle so hard to obtain women to date because then there's the added issue of like the women to date um, because the state of affairs is remaining the same meaning that like you're not fixing the problem of women being so narrowly attracted to men you're only encouraging it or you're only playing into it in a pragmatic sense the ultimate problem lies in the that I say ultimate, but one of the problem lies is that women will remain stagnant. They will they will remain materialistic. They will remain selfish, and they will remain solipsistic, and they will remain believing that the vast majority of men are not worth their time. They will remain simply trying to obtain the chads of which they could find, simply trying to obtain the high valued males, and, and putting up with a lot of nonsense to get to with those guys, right? So what you would then have is just a pool of women that are being rotated. Now the dating coaches are fine with this concept. They're fine with with having men rotating women not really caring about them and just having sex with them and, and, and discarding them really um not really even caring too much for these women or at least putting on a facade or an air that they don't really care or or put or invest much in the women again having an ultimate goal of trying to find lots of women to not care about them in and of itself is a bit oxymoronic um the idea that you have to work so hard to obtain the attention of people that you don't like nor care about nor really want to invest in sounds stupid on its surface. It, it, I, I, you, it's really hard to like even make sense of it until you realize that dating is really or a lot of relations between male and females is really more about the validation than it really is about the other person which is interesting to me um because this is an act that requires another person it's very interesting how you need the other person but it's still selfishly inward on what you can get from them. So you're just trying to, you're basically just a parasite absorbing whatever validation or resources you can. For women, it's mostly resources. For the males in this category, it's mostly the validation of being felt like they are worth it as a male because lots of women want them. Now, again, I've talked about issues like that all of the time, psychologically, the problems of like only trying to obtain validation from women or just using other people for your validation. But the point is, getting coaching isn't about actually having functional relationships as much as a lot of it revolves around just giving women what they want. And just giving women what they want keeps them stagnant. They remain selfish, they remain materialistic, and they remain thinking that the vast majority of men aren't worth their time because you've basically just reinforced that these women are correct for being this way. If these women are going to be solipsistic and materialistic and just remain and be and exist, they know that males are going to try to attempt to obtain that status so they can get them so they just they don't even try they don't even care of course again the issue being is that you can't have a pool you can't have a gigantic pool of women mostly trying to date a small fraction of men it's not functionally feasible in any friggin way like at all like at all there's not even enough men even if these dudes <coughs> say say these young males were willing let me just pause right there young males <laughs> tee right because We'll, uh, we'll get there. We'll get there in just a moment. But um, say these males were willing to rotate lots of women. That's kind of the most you could do. Like most of these dudes may, I mean, like even if you gave like 15 women to like one of these guys, right? Like I guess this is like some kind of 
Chinese shogunate or dynasty, right? Um, let's say you were even to do that, there would still be millions of women that just will never be able to touch these guys, will never be able to have families with these guys. Um, and reinforcing the idea that women need so many things, and that's mostly what it is, materialism, things, money, you know, resources, reinforcing that is just going to leave them unsatisfied and it's just going to make them feel like the men that they actually should be with are not worth their time. And of course, that's just going to encourage the breakdown of families. So that's no good. But here's the thing. The reason why this becomes even more hilarious um, is just twofold. I mean, it's the same problem, but on two different sides. So the idea that I've seen some dating coaches posit, or I guess some red pill guys, uh, dating coach, yeah, it's kind of the same, is the idea that men age, as they say, like fine wine. That is, the older you get as a man, the more materialistic things, well, I wouldn't material, but the more material and capital that you you should obtain. Hopefully, if, you're, if your life is on the upward trend, you will be obtaining more resources. Um, hopefully um now most of the men who are able to make you know large amounts of money are older men that have established careers now of course there's a little bit of a big issue here um well this is a lot of issues here um those men who get to that to that stage are a little bit older and there's an encouragement from dating coaches that 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 once you become that old that you can then dip back into the the pool of younger women and start you know rotating them out and having sex with them now of course where's the issue be there again you are now just another element of the problem rather than any solution you've just reinforced the issue that now women have these larger expectations of males rather than these women are going to be building a foundation with men over time so not only just is it feasible to pull the resources of one dude consistently for a woman but emotionally you'll have a much stronger and tighter bond and a much better friend or partner just to carry throughout life um the encouragement of having families be built over time again creates stronger bonds with people you're obviously hopefully the person's good you're going to have a stronger bond with them over time and they'll be less likely to divorce but again Dating coaching isn't about trying to create stable families. It's about trying to have sex with women and trying to get women to validate you, basically. And so the issue being is you ask men to remove themselves from the dating pool for like 20 years or so to get to like their 40s. And then what happens? They have no experience with women. They have no experience maintaining relations with women. They have no like real expectations from women because they weren't actually baking themselves into and talking to women and being around them. So you have a pool of inexperienced dudes who are supposed to be dipping back into trying to date 20 year old girls. And it's like, and, and it's just, you, you basically just have a young man. I'm sorry. You, you have an older dude or an older dude who's stuck in a childish mentality of, of, of just being in high school, trying to be with the cool kids or be like the cool kids and getting validation from girls, you know, except again, He's got more money and resources, but all he's really done now is just is just overblown the expectations of young women and making it harder for the dudes after him to have families that could even sustain society. That's just again if you encourage that type of mindset from young men to to wait then instead of again finding someone to establish a family with and then work with them over time to obtain more resources. Um also, again, like, like I said, the, the, again, the, the idea even behind that isn't even to like encourage relationships, more so to encourage your own aggrandizement and saying that, you know, you've worked this hard, so your reward now is any vagina that you should want or you should now have an easier time getting vagina. Excuse me. But of course, the problem there lies and it's, it's kind of fruitless, but I'll get back into that. I'll harken back to that in, uh, at some other time. So... When we're talking about dating coaches' need and their demand and kind of the problems that they are oftentimes encouraging, um, again, like I said, the state of affairs with dating coaches is not one of fixing the issue. The issue, again, being that women mostly have a much, much higher and unrealistic expectation of males to a point where they ignore and don't even consider most men even dating prospects um, is not fixed with these guys. Um, and I kind of just posited lots of different reasons as to why encouraging males to become high, high value or high, high status again, isn't still isn't even really an optimal solution to the issue. Um, what you are kind of left with is a lot of absorbent courses that exist to just kind of take a lot of money from men who genuinely need help. And a lot of this stuff isn't genuine help to get these men to what they really want. And a lot of these men, what they really want 
It's for women that actually care about them. And a lot of dating coaches aren't really in the business of trying to get you to find women that actually care about you. They try to get you in the business of just pounding out lots of different girls and and trying to seek a more luxurious lifestyle or levacious lifestyle rather um, of just spending lots of money or like trying to uh, gain women or psychologically manipulate women so to speak into having sex with you and then that's just kind of it it isn't again this isn't anything fruitful or anything you know deeper than that um, and so the problem that lies is nothing changes nothing gets better. The issue remains. You may be winning, and so to speak, but really, I would just say you've just kind of inherited different problems. Um, and that different problem would be now you are in the danger zone of meeting incredibly awful women who will probably hurt you quite a bit. Because th this isn't really about finding quality women, again, to really have like families with or even cultivate friendships with. This is about just having sex with them. And if that's the ultimate goal, their character isn't important. But the character should be paramount and important because if you impregnate one of these awful women, they will make you suffer. They they will. They, you know, even if you just don't, even if you don't, if even they will make you suffer, dude, if they're tear if they're just that awful, you know. And so I don't really see much in the way of like finding like defenses against those type of women, which is what a huge portion of my videos have been doing and calling out these women is more than anything trying to create a, a catalog for you young men to see these behaviors and say, yo, I do not want to invest in that. Um, that's my, that's been, that's why I've spent so much time, by the way, in case you guys never realized it, that's why I've spent so much time talking about these terrible traits in these women is to create a long back catalog for your brain so you can see these traits and say oh yeah no i don't want to be with a woman like that um but again to kind of wrap this video up hopefully you guys get what i'm saying here um in conclusion uh do we really need dating coaches why do we have a demand for them we have a demand for them because we have a huge problem with young men not being able to date women consistently or at all or not find women that they can have long-term strong relationships with but the problem with a lot of dating coaches is that their concern is not really in the development of families or even the development of like having good relationships with women but the development of just trying to have sex with these women and just trying to be validated by pretty and attractive ones and when you get caught and stuck in a mindset like that you don't ever really move forward and nothing ever really gets better everything kind of remains the same and again if you're not really talking about the traits or the characteristics of a lot of these women then you really you're just opening up the door for new problems in your life so hopefully you guys got something out of today's video um i'll go over this topic a little bit more in detail as, as time goes on but hopefully you understand you look at it that like i understand the demand for dating coaches but i don't think that they're an optimal solution in fact if anything all they really do is kind of reinforce the problem rather than do anything to help fix it so that being said i should let you guys got something out of today's video and if you did man Go and click the like button. It's you. Go and click that. Subscribe button. Comment in the comment box below. As always, you guys have yourselves a great day. I'll see you cool cats soon. Adios.